Hello, welcome to another hands-on session on Google Cloud Platform. I'm Maham Tariq from Skill Curb and in this video we will have a walkthrough of Google Cloud Data Proc with a hands-on lab. Cloud Data Proc is a managed cluster service in GCP for running Hadoop and Spark jobs. It takes away all of the hassle of running your own clusters and virtual machines and managing storage and sets up a managed service that's ready to accept jobs that you simply send to it. Now, let's start our hands-on lab. These are the steps involved. Firstly, we will log into our Google account and open Google Cloud Console. We will then create a cloud storage bucket and keep a sample text file in it. We'll later use the GCS connector to read and write data from cloud storage. Then we will create a cluster and simply submit a PySpark job in this cluster using gcloud command. Finally, we will observe the results in the cloud terminal. Now let's get started. Open your browser in the incognito mode. Go to cloud.google.com. If you don't have a Google account, you need to click on get started for free. I have a Google account, so I'll click on sign in. In this lab, we'll read data from a text file. So make sure you have a sample text file saved in your computer. You are free to use any file in the TXT format. Once you've got the file ready, open the GCP console. Firstly, we will create a cloud so storage bucket. For that, search for cloud storage from the search bar. In the bucket section, click on create bucket. Give a globally unique name to your bucket and also make note of this name as you'll need it in a moment. Next, you need to choose the location type. The type of location you choose depends upon your preference for cost, performance and availability. For this lab, I'll choose the region option and select US East 1. We will go with the default options for rest of the portions and then click on create. Now we can see that our bucket has been created and we are redirected to the bucket detail. Click on create folder and name the folder as input. Click on create. Now you can see your folder in the table. Now go into the input folder and click on upload files. Then select the sample text file you want to upload. Now it's time to create our data proc cluster. Select data proc in the big data section of cloud console menu. The data proc API should already be enabled here, but if you're prompted to enable the API, just do so. Click create cluster. Give your cluster a name. I'll name it lab cluster. Pick the same region here that you used to create the GCS bucket a moment ago. So for me, that was US East 1. We'll change the cluster type to single node. We'll leave everything else as default and then click on create. We don't have to take any extra steps to install the cloud storage connector. It's included by default. We just have to choose to use it when we submit jobs. Now we'll open the cloud shell and cloud shell editor and we'll write our Spark job in Python. Create a new file. You can pause the video here to note down the code. This is very simple Python script. It takes two arguments, an input location and an output location. It then creates a Spark context and uses this to perform some map and reduce functions. Then it saves the output to the location specified. Let's save that file. Make note of the name of this file. And now that we've written a PySpark job, we are ready to submit it. We will submit this job using the cloud terminal. So let's go back to the cloud shell to submit the job. We will be using the gcloud command line. The command is gcloud data proc job submit, then the type of job which is PySpark, then the name of script that we've just written, then our cluster name, then the region you built your cluster in, then two dashes on their own. Everything written after this point will be submitted as arguments to our script. First argument will be the input file and second argument will be the output file. We haven't created this output directory yet, but the data proc will do that for us. When we hit return, the job will be submitted. After a few moments, the console will start to stream the output of the job 
as it runs on the cluster. We can also go back to the cloud console and see the output in job section of the data proc page. Now let's open the job section of the data proc page. It shouldn't take long for the job to complete, but we don't see the results in a job output because we asked for them to be written on the GCS. Now let's go back to our cloud shell and take a look. I'll just clear the terminal. We can list the contents of our output directory with gsutil ls command. Now let's run this command. As you can see, the output is partitioned into two files. Let's download them to our Cloud Shell terminal with gsutil cp command. We can join the two files together with the unix cat command. Now the part 00000 file contains all of the output. Let's see what most common words in the text file were. We can do this with the unix sort command. This will sort the output file containing all of the word count so that we can see what the most commonly words used for are in the text. Now we can see the output. And now we've finished. We can simply delete our data proc cluster and our storage bucket as these are billable resources. This lab gave you a walkthrough of the basic functionality of Google Cloud data proc. It's not the most exciting thing you can do with data proc, but we've used Spark to complete a word count on a large file without having to set up or configure a cluster. There is a lot more about Google Cloud Data Proc, but I hope this was helpful in getting you started with the service. Please leave us a comment and share your experience in running this lab with us. See you next time.